Nagano. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, yes, I'm really here. <laughs> In the morning, you start the job. Uh -huh. A new trainman at your service. <laughs> <laughs> you had such a fine job in Tokyo, my friend. I was very surprised that you were willing to give it up and come to work here in Sapporo. <laughs> You convinced me to do it. Ah, that's good. Let's go to my house first, then I'll help you get settled. Hmm. How quickly the time has gone, Yoshikawa. Hasn't it been seven years since your father died? We're in the same situation now. But I wish I'd gone to university like you. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I can teach you everything that I learned. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you've come. I really didn't expect your mother to agree. <laughs> My sister Mashiko is taking care of her now. Mashiko is married now, so mother has gone to stay at her house. Oh, really? Imagine that. Mashiko married already. Your little sister. And your sister. Uh, she's still here. Is she better? The same. Don't worry. She's been confined to bed for three years. It was after we became engaged that she fell ill. Ma, uh -huh. she suffered a great deal. Is she awake, Mother? Yes, go right in. Fujiko, guess who's here? Fujiko, I'm back. It's good to see you. Oh, you know that I really missed you. Did you? It's been so long. You've had a very long journey. Aren't you tired now? No. Seeing you again has made me feel much better. And is everybody at home all right? Yes. You can get better. I know you can. <sighs> Thank you. Look, my sister sent you this, Fujiko. Why? Beautiful. Oh, pressed flowers. They're such delicate things, aren't they? Aren't they pretty? My own very special garden. Look at that. Mashiko, dear. I thank you very much. Getting used to things. Mm. The month's gone quickly. I've enjoyed it, thanks to you. I'm grateful to you, Nagano. Your daily visits mean so much to Fujiko, you know. I'm not sure I can come tonight. Oh, well, the foreman asked me to come to his house for dinner. Oh, that's an honor. He's going to be running the whole company one of these days. Should I go? Oh, of course you should go. Don't worry about Fujiko. You can see her tomorrow. Well, <coughs> I'm going to speak my mind. The reason that I asked you here is that I'd like to have you as a son-in-law. Uh. Misha is almost 18, uh. old enough to get married. Think it over. Take your time. I, a spring wedding is soon enough. Eh? What do you say? It's very kind of you. I'm honored, Mr. Wakuda. No, no, don't act formal. Just forget you're working for me. Speak honestly. Thanks. Uh, there's one thing I... No, no, no. Do you have anyone else in mind yet? Uh, well, I... Not really. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm glad to hear that. He wants you to marry his daughter? He's got good eyes in his head. How can I marry her? 
I only met Miso once. <laughs> well, you only get married once. <laughs> you know, it sounds like an excellent proposition. I hear she's quite pretty. I think she'd make a good wife. Yoshikawa, while her father was talking, I was thinking of somebody else. Oh? Fushiko. No, not Fujiko. You're mad, Yoshikawa. No, I said no. If that's your decision, I... I won't talk of it again. Yes, that's right. You and Fujiko would only get hurt in the end. Well, let's go. I've just been to the clinic to call on Dr. Sakita. He was very busy, but he agreed to see me. He did? He said tuberculosis of the spine can be cured, Fujiko. There's a way I can help you to get better again. You've got to try and build up your strength, all right? All right. Well, let's get started. Here, I brought you a whole lot of good things, like that. You must eat dried fish. Here are some carrots and radishes and more vegetables and fish. I want you to eat all of them. See? That's what you have to do if you want to get well. Fujiko, there is hope. You've got to believe it. I'm so happy, Nakano. Do you hear? And yet I'm crying. It's silly, isn't it? Nagano, let's go. Good day. Blessed Father, I thank you for all you've done. Thank you for sending Nagano to me, Lord. Give us your blessing. Please, let me marry Fushiko. I love her. Give your consent. I beg you. Fujiko is a sick girl. No, she'll recover. I'm willing to wait until she's well. If she doesn't get well, I'll wait a lifetime. Nagano. Fujiko is a Christian. Huh? I've been hesitating to tell you. I know how you feel about Christianity. Yoshikawa, I want to hear, for what reason did she change her religion? Before she was ill, our mother held sewing classes here for the girls in town. When Fujiko took sick, the girls wouldn't come here. All but one little girl. She wasn't scared. She came to visit Fujiko every day. She brought little things. Flowers or cakes to brighten Fujiko's day. That little girl was a Christian, Nagano. She gave Fujiko a Bible to read. And that changed her. Right then? Uh-huh. You see, Fujiko had a lot of time to think about life, death, and God. The tuberculosis had struck her just when she was engaged to you. She probably wondered why she had been afflicted with so much suffering. But when she found the Christian God, she was comforted and happy. She says that God is love. I'm sure I heard that. God is love? Where did you get that? My sister gave this Bible to me. 
before I left. There. Look at that. It says, God is love. I can still recall how you hated Christians. When we were both young. No. Why, it's not true. I'm not against the religion. Actually, my mother and my sister are both Christians. Hmm. And when my father died, the funeral services were held in my mother's church. The prayers that I heard there really changed me a great deal. Then father's last testament was read. What I have said each day of my life and the things I have done during my life are my legacy to my wife, my son, and my daughter. I believe I have lived every day of my life as Christ wanted me to. I started to think of what he had said. I wanted to try to lead a good life just exactly as he had lived it. But how, I asked. You can. And then you read the Bible, Nagano? No. And you? Have you read it? Of course. As soon as I saw Fujiko, begin reading it. Her way of thinking completely changed. She seemed more cheerful, so I decided to read it for myself. Nagano, both you and Fujiko are very precious to me. And I understand how you feel about her. Even if she could get well, it could take so many years. And should your feelings ever change, you and she would both be hurt. I couldn't stand that. No, my feelings won't change. But I won't mention it to Fujiko just yet. Although, I wanted you to know. All right. Oh, you know what you should do? Read the Bible. That would make her happy. You want to marry a girl who is critically ill with tuberculosis? Tell me, suppose her condition doesn't ever change. What will you do then? I'll wait for her all my life, sir. You're amazing. <laughs> You're absolutely out of your mind. <laughs> Why, up until tonight, I'd always thought young men of your age were getting too smart. But you are not a case. <laughs> I hated to tell Misa that it was you who turned her down, Lagano. Instead, I decided to say that it was I who refused to give you her hand. But now, I'll tell her the truth. The fact that there are still good people like you in the world is something she should learn. Lagano, I... Mrs. Lost a good husband. Thank you. Nagano, I will be able to get Misa another husband. You are the only husband that that poor sick girl can ever hope to find. You've chosen hardship. May you find happiness one day. And you know I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Good night, sir. Attention. It appears a pay envelope is gone. No one else was in here today. One of you must have taken it. I want all of you to close your eyes and put your pay envelope in your desk drawer. Keep your eyes closed tightly till I tell you to open them. 
It's by mistake. One of you has taken two pay envelopes today. Put both of them in your desk. I advise the guilty man to admit his error honestly. Now, close your eyes. Mitsuburi. Fujiko, a problem arose today. A friend got into some trouble. What did he do? He tried stealing another station worker's money. As soon as he got caught, he left the station. I've been trying to think of a way to help out. But how? Oh, I have got an idea. I'll speak to the foreman on his behalf. Well, Fujiko, what do you think? Oh, I think that is a splendid idea, Nagano. And I shall pray that you'll be able to help your friend with your love. Will you really? Thank you. I've been trying to think of a way to help. But how? I advise the guilty man to admit his error honestly. I shall pray that you'll be able to help your friend with your love. Listen, everyone. I have come from Tokyo. And for 10 days, I have been begging you to listen to me. Do any of you really know the meaning of true love? What is love, after all? I believe that true love is when you give freely to others. The most important thing that you have to give. So I ask, what do you think is the most important thing that you have to give? It is your life, your own life. And that is why Jesus Christ, the Son of God, gave his life away on Calvary. And so you see, even when Jesus Christ, our Savior, was crucified, even during the terrible moments of agony on the cross, he prayed for those who had crucified him. And he cried out to God, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Those were the words of our Lord. And so, he died asking God to forgive those who had nailed him to the cross. And so, he gave to all of us the most important thing that he had to save our souls. Don't you understand that a man who had so much compassion that he could pray to God to forgive those who were about to slay him. Such a man could only be the son of God, who had come to earth to save the souls of mankind from sin. And I believe in him. Yes, and I want you to... to wholly accept Jesus Christ as your one and only savior. I want you to read the Bible, our holy book, in it are written the words of Jesus Christ, and I've come to share them with you all. Seek, and you'll find in the Holy Bible, it is written to all who receive him, to all who believe in his name, he gives power to become children of God. I listen to you talk all day, preacher. Yes. You made me see that Jesus is truly the Son of God. Nagano, do you really believe that Jesus Christ is your Savior? Yes, I do. 
For ten days I have been preaching to the people of Sapporo. You are the only one who has come forth. And yet, you only heard me speak once. Can you believe in Christ so readily? I can. Do you understand the reason that Christ the Savior was crucified? Well, you explained that he took upon himself the sins of the world and died for all mankind. Who did crucify him then? Well, it was you. What do you mean? Why, I never crucified Christ, preacher. If you deny it, then you do not believe in him. How could I? You know that isn't right. It happened far too many years ago. How could I have been there? You mean that's how you think? Like all the rest, I see it differently. I believe that each one of us, in his own way, has crucified him. To begin to understand what I mean, you must first accept the fact that you are not free from sin. Do you believe that you are a sinful man? If you do not, try this simple test. The same as I did many years ago. Choose a verse from the Bible and try to do exactly as it says. Soon, you will discover for yourself how very far you are from the kind of man Christ wants you to be. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Mr. Bori, I will not forgive. I won't give you your job back. After what you have done, go on and look for another job. Please, sir, won't you reconsider? He'll never do it again. Give him a chance to prove it, all right? His mother came here to apologize. Well, what do you say, sir? It won't do any good, Nagano. He should have admitted his guilt then, right at the time. It's too late now. Well, you had better go now. Mr. Wakuda. When he took the money, he knew that it was a sin. <laughs> Mr. Buri was too ashamed to go to you to say that he had stolen it. But I am equally to blame. As his friend, I should have gone to him right away. If I had, he would have come forward to apologize a lot sooner. But I failed to do my duty as his friend. Certainly, he can find work somewhere else here in town. And yet people will say that he isn't trustworthy at all, that he was caught stealing. And later on, when he's married, they may even say these things to his own children. Listen, if you give him another chance, you can fire me too if he steals again. So, Mr. Wakura, won't you consider letting him stay? Well, you're a strange one. Good morning. Morning, Nagano. Oh, wait. Have you heard about the foreman? He's resigned. Are you sure? Mm. It happened just now. I thought he liked things here. Wonder why he decided to quit. Is it true you're leaving us, sir? Yes. I submitted my resignation. I decided to move to another town, Asahikawa. To work for the National Railway? That's right. I don't think I like uh, civil service, but at least it's worth a try. <laughs> Are you angry with me? No, sir. Why? You know that up until today, I've done nothing to help your friend Mitsuburi. 
I imagine you've been thinking that I'm an extremely unreasonable man. Here's what I decided to do, Nangano. I'm taking him with me. You see, I thought it out. And that is the only feasible way. Staying with this company would make him feel guilty all the time. In a Sahikawa, he'd start out with a clean slate. Why, sir, you're very kind, sir. Thank you. Oh, and there's one other thing. Why don't you pull the chair up? Nagano, it would be easier for your friend if you came with us. Huh? You're going to? To Asaikawa? Hmm. Is something wrong? Why are you leaving Sapporo? Tell me. I can't tell you. It's, uh... It's just that I have an obligation and I've got to go through with it. But I'm sorry to leave you and Fujiko. I see. Fujiko will take it hard. I'm sorry. So when are you going? Oh, not until May. What day? The 15th. Well, that's a shame. The snow will have gone. The grass will start to grow. It's pretty here, then. It's really my favorite time. You know, you'll miss the best part of spring. Yoshikawa! I'm coming! Hurry up! Please, don't tell Fujiko yet. I think it is wiser not to tell her until spring is here. Thanks. all my tears away long ago. And now I can't stop the tears. I wonder where they were hiding. Fujiko. I'm sorry. It is wrong of me to cry. If you have to leave, that is God's will. And I always pray that his will shall be done. I know how difficult it is to understand God's will and place our trust in him. Fujiko, I want you to get well and be my wife. How can I? You can and you will. As long as it'll take, I'll be waiting. You're all I want. Please, you must try and get well. Fujiko, my mother, told me once, two candles burn brighter than one. And so our faith will burn brighter if we're together. Now, look at me, Fujiko.
Hello there. What are you doing around here at this hour of the night? I wanted to talk to you, Nagano. <laughs> You're pretty drunk. Here. Go on in. There's something I don't understand. Why did you come here to Asaikawa with me? Did the boss ask you to spy on me? Are you joking? <laughs> of course not. Well, I feel nervous when you're around. How do I know you're not going to tell everybody what I did? Mitsuburi, you know I wouldn't do anything of the kind. All I want is just to be your friend, that's all. A friend? You've made a lot of friends since we came here. Haven't you told them I was a thief? I swore to you that I wouldn't tell a soul. Let's forget it. Forget it? <laughs> How do you expect me to forget it? When you're always around? Oh. <sighs> I can't take it, do you hear? If you're really my friend, you would leave me alone! You stupid idiot! How do you dare to treat me like that? Oh, are you mad? I didn't really expect a saint like you could ever get angry, but you can! You act like you're a saint, but inside you're an animal, like the rest of us are. Oh, go on. Can't you talk? I suppose saints don't fight, they just turn the other cheek. Nagano, why are you really here? For me or for Wakura's daughter? That's enough. Oh, so it is for me, sir. Even a saint can lust for a woman. happy to hear that I have joined the Christian church in Asahikawa. I have been attending services regularly, and next week I will begin teaching Sunday school. Pray for me, Mother, so I will become a worthy teacher and a worthy servant of our Lord. I will try my very best. My dearest Nagano, I thank you for your letters and the money you have been sending us. God knows I am grateful for blessing me with such a fine son. I'm glad to hear Fujiko's condition has improved a little. Your love and encouragement are surely the best medicine in the world for her. Beloved Fujiko, my mother has written to me that she prays for you each and every day, as you know I do. Now here's some news I hope will make you happy. I'm finally going to be baptized on Christmas Day. Yeah, look at this. While I write my testimony as the church has required, my heart rejoices in the hope of becoming a true servant of God. Oh, you 
still up. Uh, what are you doing? Writing a love letter? No, not really. A letter to God. Are you serious? Completely. A letter to God? What are you talking about? Let me see that. Ah. A preacher once suggested that I choose a text from the Bible and try to live my life exactly as it told me to. You see? That isn't a love letter. And in the Bible, I read the story of the injured traveler who had fallen at the side of the road and needed help until a good Samaritan came along. This man kindly offered his assistance to the injured traveler. And when I read this chapter, I decided to try to help a friend of mine who was in trouble, though it meant leaving the people I loved best to go away to Asaikawa with my friend. I loved this friend dearly, and I thought he also loved me. I tried very hard to help him, and yet he rejected everything that I did. And later on, I grew to really... But soon, after searching my soul, I realized that I had been proud and conceited, that I had been feeling superior to my friend, as if I were putting myself in the place of God. I understood then that I had sinned against God and that it was the sin of pride that had caused Christ to be crucified. I believe, truly believe, in redemption by the cross. I believe in and accept Jesus Christ as my savior. Mitsuburi, I, that night we quarreled. I was so full of conceit, proud and vain. Later, I thought about what you said. It made me see you were right about everything. I ask your forgiveness. Nagano, let's forget it happened, all right? Didn't you hear? Misa and I are going to be married. Wakura has agreed. Oh? Wonderful. <laughs> I'm very happy. Thank you. Well, good night. <laughs> I mean, amen. National Railway. Hello. It's a pleasure to see you again. Thank you, Nagano. It's so good to see Thank you. Thank you. Our house is yours. Uh, right. We've parted many times, but we always... Well, thanks to you, Nagano. Come on, we're in the way. Come on.
Yoshiko? I don't want you to tire you. I won't. I just want to show you how well I can walk. Later. Save your strength. All right. <laughs> I'll carry you. Come on. <laughs> Sister, is dinner ready? It will be in a minute. And the sake? <gasps> we have enough sake for you. But Nagano never drinks at all, does he, son? <laughs> no, but I'll drink for him. Thank you, children. That's all for today. I'll see you again next Sunday. It was a very stirring talk you gave to us last night. We appreciated it. Thank you. I pray the Christian society will grow. You must try to interest the young people. We'll do our best. Thanks again. So long. Thank you. son-in-law instead of you. I beg your pardon. Mr. Rokuso, is it really you? Oh, my son-in-law. 
imagine that? So your little Naga no more. Yes. Oh. Oh. Sorry, sir. Oh. I beg pardon. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Well, that's all right. Sit down. Uh, well, Naga no, I'm glad to see you again. Ten years or so. Oh, sir. Well, no. I'm too old for this sort of life. Selling things from door to door in here. It's too cold for me. Today, I'll stop at Shibetsu. Shibetsu? Mm -hmm. We're almost there. Yes. Uh, Nagano, tell me something. When your father passed away, I heard you held the funeral services in a Christian church. Is that true? Yes. He had requested that we do that. I see. It must have been very difficult for you just the same. I remember you disliked those Christians when you were a boy. Rokuso, I've converted to Christianity. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Not only that, he's leader of the Christian railway workers. Mm. Just last night, he gave a talk saying we should always be ready to die for God. Send my greetings to your son. Ah, thank you. Good day to you, sir. Christian, huh? No. And he was arrested for theft. Anyway, now he has a job in a store. He got married and seems to be working hard. But I'm still concerned about him. You know how fathers worry. Nagano, I don't really understand the ways of your faith. Can you go to him and teach him to live a good life? I'd be very grateful. It's a body. The cold air was disturbing people. I'm sorry. So sorry. Uh, it's cold enough in here. an engine in the rear. This train doesn't need it. I don't see how we can make it over this steep pass without it. Hard 
at all, Fujiko. I heard it clearly. Fujiko. What is it? Is anything wrong? Brother. A while ago, I heard a noise. Then I imagined it was Nagano. There was something wrong. What time? Around ten. What can it mean? About ten this morning. broke loose and rolled back down the mountainside. What about the passengers? Nagano managed to save them all. All but one. Nagano? You see, Nagano... Nagano saved them by throwing himself under the wheels of the train. Oh. oh, my Lord. Nagano is dead. Oh, my Lord, is he really dead? Yes. He's dead. <laughs> Where'd you go? Nagano died to save the lives of others. He gave his life for love. <laughs> oh, Lord. Fujiko walks as though Nagano were walking alongside. Remember what I once told you? Two candles burn brighter than one, and so our faith will burn more brightly if we're together. One day we will be together again.
Fujiko has taken a vow not to get married. She's so very proud of Nagano's memory. She knows that as long as she's here on Earth, Christ's love will comfort her and shall abide always in her heart. I want to live every day of my life for Jesus and for my fellow men, however long my life will be. But I am prepared to die at any time, whenever my God calls me. I shall always pray, may God's will be done. Amen.